the Pali word for meditation means to develop. We're trying to develop good qualities in mind. We want to be alert, we want to be mindful, we want to be concentrated, we want to develop some discernment. We start with pretty simple things like the breath. Focus on your breath coming in, focus on your breath going out, and see if you can stay with the breath and not wander off. Right there, that's going to require some mindfulness and alertness. To keep the breath in mind, that's mindfulness. The alertness is what sees what's going on. And then there's a quality of ardency. You're really earnest into it. You put your whole heart into doing this. You see that if you let the mind wander off all the time, how are you going to get any control over it? If you have no control over your mind, what control do you have over anything at all in life? Everything has to start with the mind. So first we try to gain some control here, giving it this simple task. And in the course of this simple task, we train some really basic qualities that it needs for all its other tasks as well. This way you learn how to depend more and more on yourself. and less and less on having things a cer certain way outside. If you have to depend on things being this way, that way, if this way isn't the way I like it, then I'm not really happy. If that's the way, it's, it's not really happy. I have to have things just right this way. Okay. The mind is really weak. It's always demanding this, and when it doesn't get it what it wants, its goodness just disappears. You want to have your goodness something that's strong, that can be resilient in the face of all kinds of adversity, all kinds of trouble. And again, that depends on training qualities in the mind itself. So when things outside are good, it doesn't get carried away. When things are not good, it doesn't get upset. It can keep itself on an even keel. And that way, once the mind becomes more under your control, then you see that the things you do and say and think become more under your control as well. And you can start, you can start shaping your life in the direction that you want it to go. So the developing starts here. You develop your mind, and it goes out and spreads out to develop your life as well, into a much better life, a life where you're creating fewer problems for yourself, a life where you're beginning to understand yourself, so you can be more skillful in dealing with yourself and with other people. But don't forget the basics. Always be mindful, always be alert. And put your heart into doing this well. And those qualities will then carry over to the other things you need to do in life. Then you're bound to succeed at what you want to do.